This is a session in which we're going to cover off our timber Venetians. So that covers our timber Venetian and our faux wood Venetian products. Firstly, we'll talk about timber Venetians. Now, we refer to these as our country woods product. These are timber Venetians that have a nice uniform grain, just with a medium texture. So the uniform grays grain shows it as a natural timber, but we get a consistent color and pattern across the entire blind. Now there are six colors available in 50 mil slat and three colors in 63 mil slat. Now this is something we did when we launched this product now, probably 18 months ago, and also the wood essence. We moved to providing you a 63 mil slat. It was something we'd been asked for for quite a lot over the years. So you now have 50 and 63 mil options in your timber and faux wood product range. Now the swatching for your country woods, obviously, as you would know, you would have it there. You have all your color samples for each product and the three colors that are available in the 63 mil, which is your snow white, your pearl white and your walnut are swatched. And obviously the six colors again, or the three again, plus the other three in your 50 mil. So six in 50 mil, three of those available in the 63 mil. What you also see now is the new Valance. We've gone to quite a deep, quite a high Valance, the 90 mil curved profile Valance, same profile here in Country Woods as what we have in the Wood Essence. So you can get a consistent look with a deeper profile that does a better job at hiding and covering the gap in the componentry that you can often see below the head rail but between the slat. Now obviously we do color coordinated timber tassels, cords and accessories and they're all standard on all of the products. But the timber is poplar. Now poplar is a lightweight hardwood. It really is all about giving you a dependable product and poplar's proven itself to be the best timber to use. It's renowned for its ability to absorb the paint really well. So obviously that helps to provide good resistance against denting, scratching, peeling and twisting. So it's protecting that timber very well. Also from our perspective, it was important to make sure that we were using a timber that was responsibly logged from managed forests, when that it certainly is. And then you move into the timber alternative, faux wood product, we call wood essence. So again, you've got your selling kit, your swatch collection here for your wood essence. And this is a product made from polystyrene. Ideal for bathrooms, areas where there's moistures and wet areas. This is developed to capture that real look of wood, but to eliminate the inconsistencies with the color, the grain and the pattern, and obviously give you something that will handle the, uh, the more wetter areas. But we want to try and replicate real timber, but not actually supply your real timber. Eight colors. So again, in the swatch, you'll see we've got eight samples there in our 50 mil. Four of those available in our 63 mil. And again, the Valance, different material because it's the wood essence faux material, but exactly the same size and profile that you see in your country woods Venetian. So now with those two products, there's quite a lot of uniformity into how the product looks. The wood essence is quite an upmarket flat as well. Being polymer, we could do a couple of things, I guess, to the finish of it. So we gave it a beaded finish. Now, what that does, it actually helps reduce the level of scratching that you might sometimes see on any sort of Venetian product, whether it's timber or whether it's a polymer product. Also, the beaded finish obviously helps with the cleaning and the maintenance. And they've all been coated with a top UV coat to give us a high degree of UV, UV protection. The interesting thing is we get light fastness uh, testing achieved of seven out of eight on the blue scale, which is phenomenal for a product like this. We also did glass transition temperature testing and we got no distortion in the slat when we exposed it to the type of heat that's generated behind a glass window. So it's a very stable product and we're very happy with the results we've been able to achieve there. As I said, the Valance is 90 now across both, helping to hide the light gap and the componentry. The bottom rail, same profile on both. And again, it's a nice heavy weighted bottom rail to get good operation out of the blinds. 
Now the headrail system that we use is designed to carry the heavy weights of timber and the polymer. Keep in mind, timber Venetians, wood essence Venetians, are heavier product than lots of other lots of other uh, window coverings that we manufacture. But our componentry is the heaviest duty we can get, and it's very tried and tested and proven in the industry to be the best that's out there. So the head box is made from a roll formed zinc loom, stove enameled both sides, so we've obviously got less corrosion issues, and it uses a cast iron and a Delrin tilter, and it has a very positive lock cord lock. The tape roll supports incorporate the roller. We have reduced cord wear and we get a very smooth operation out of the tape drums that we're using. Slat overlaps always important with a Venetian or a slatted product. Eight to nine millimetres is our slat overlap. And again, in the industry and in our competition, it's one of the ways of making something cheaper is to put less slats in the drop of a blind. And you can put less slats in by overlapping each slat less. And we've chosen to overlap more, and we have that overlap of eight to nine millimetres. It gives better closure, less light penetration, and what's really important, obviously less, uh, sorry, better insulation as well. So in line with flat overlap, string tape spacing plays a big part in the cost of a product as well. In the case of our country woods timber Venetians, our ladder spacing is 560 millimetres. In the case of wood essence, it's 400 millimetres. The wood, es wood essence is a heavier product, and we don't want to be supplying product out there where you might be seeing bowing or sagging in the blades. So we've got our straight, our, str our string tape spacing set at that conservative level because it gives us a better product. Many of our competitors will use the wider tape spacings because it does reduce cost in componentry and obviously in labour time in blind assembly. But we've stuck with our obviously standard tape spacings. Different control options, guys. Obviously, with a Venetian blind, you have the traditional cord operation where you have one cord going like that to tilt the blades, and then you'll have a series of cords held together with cord equalisers that you can raise the blind up with. Mentioned before, timber Venetians, wood essence Venetians are heavy product. They're a product that's designed to be opened and closed on a regular basis, but it's really not a product that's designed to be raised and lowered every day, particularly if it's a larger blind. And if you've got a consumer that wants to raise that blind every day, it's a very good idea when the installer installs them or you're selling the product to them, encourage them to not just pull the cords to lift, but also lift to shade up from the bottom as well. It'll just help all the componentry work a lot easier and puts less stress on our fixings when we've got our screws into the brackets holding that product in, um, in place. Now we have another control option for the Country Woods and the Wood Essence product as well. We launched this last year and this is our light rise operation. So you can see I've got a little shade here. I've got a wand here and I've got no other cords because this is a product which operates like our light rise duet, like our light rise roller blind. We just move it to where we want it and it will stop where we want. If I want to open and close the blades, obviously I'm just going to tilt the wand. Like all light rise products, we always say just consider the height and the bottom point for this blind. And if the consumer can't practically reach the top or reach the bottom, Perhaps there are other options that might be considered. So, but a great blind, and obviously no child safety issues with this whatsoever. We're going to come back and talk about limitations on uh, on that operation a little bit shortly. You then also have full motorisation options for country woods and wood essence Venetian blinds. Now we use the Somfy 240 volt Senes motor, so the RTS motor and its components. And we recommend the Modvar Sompi remote, which enables you with the ball control to incrementally operate the opening and the closing of the blades. So Sompi Sines 40 RTS and the Modvar remote is raise, lower, tilt, all through the handheld remote. Deductions. We'll look at brackets shortly, but this is a product, a timber Venetian and the wood essence product, 
are products that are fitted with end mount brackets. So you need to make deductions if you're fitting this product in a reveal and even on face. So in a reveal scenario, your deduction is 10 on the width and 10 on the drop. Even on face, if you're measuring from edge of architrave to edge of architrave and top to bottom, we'd still recommend you take 10 millimetres off that width and 10 millimetres off that drop. They're both important. The width, if you don't have 10 mil off, you've mounted the brackets, you won't actually get that headrail to go into the brackets. The drop is just as important as well because the bottom rail needs to turn. If it hits the sill or hits the ground, it will affect the ability of the actual um, Venetian blades to close and operate properly. Corner bay deductions are in your product manual or in your pricing guide with your diagrams and pictures there as well. There's a few other things we can do with timber Venetians and wood essence, and this is all about giving us less light gap in those corners and in those bay windows. We can extend the blades five millimetres past the headrail on either the idle side, the control side, or over both sides if you're trying to reduce light gaps. So we have OIE, which stands for over idle end. If you specify that on your order, we will extend the blades five millimetres past the headrail on the idle side. Obviously, the idle side is the side that's on the other end away from the control cords. OCE, extend the slats 5mm over the control end. And OBE is extend 5mm on both sides, giving us really, really good coverage. Limitations. Country Woods Venetians have a maximum width of 2700. Wood Essence have a maximum width of 2400. The Wood Essence is a heavier product. So we have kept our maximum width to 2400. The maximum drop for a Country Woods Venetian is 3500. The maximum drop for Wood Essence is 3000. But keep in mind, they are max width and max drop, but you still have maximum square meterage to consider. We can't do a Wood Essence blind 2400 by three meters. It exceeds the square meterage. So the maximum square meterage, and in the price book you actually see, it'll give you two figures, four meters and 3.6. Four meters, if that shade is not gonna be raised very often, just gonna operate the blades. But if you've got a customer that says, no, I'm gonna raise that blind every day, up and down a couple of times a day, you need to pull your maximum size back because all of that componentry is under extra stress carrying that extra load on a, on, a, on, a, on a more regular basis. Their cord operation. When you come to the light rise lifting system with the wand, you need to be conscious again of maximum width, maximum drop, and square meterage. In the case of the country woods, your maximum square meterage is 3.6 with a maximum width of two meter and a maximum drop of 1800. Moving to wood essence for light rise, your maximum square meterage, 2.9 square meters. Maximum width, 1610. Maximum drop, 1800. You need to be conscious of the overall weight of the product when it comes to Venetians. Pelmets. I see a lot of blinds out there in the market and I've seen timber Venetians that aren't even supplied with pelmets. So obviously the pelmet's an important part in finishing off the look of a timber Venetian blind. When you're ordering a standard reveal blind, you're gonna want a standard reveal pelmet, which is just denoted with the letters SR. If I've got a standard face fit blind, I want a standard face pelmet. So it's denoted with the, with the letters SF. And in most cases, they're the two that you'll probably use more than anything else. But if you're butting blinds together, or if you're doing corners and bays, there are specific pelmet codes that you need to use. Again, refer to your SkillTech manual or the pricing app to look at those. And with the corners and the bays, we will make them the right size. We will actually mitre the ends as well so they sit together as neatly and as nicely as we can get them to. Brackets, as I said, we're gonna have a quick look at brackets. The standard bracket for fitting your wood essence or country woods Venetian is an end mount bracket. So the end mount bracket fits 
has a little gate at the front which opens and the blind slides into that bracket. Heavy product, I think I've said that about 20 times. If you're just using end mount brackets, your maximum width of your blind yeah. 1200. Anything past 1200, you'll be supplied with what's referred to as a centre support bracket. Okay? And you must use and fit these centre support brackets. So you may have a bracket here over on your left, holding the end of the blind, and centre support bracket in the middle. And I'll talk a little bit later about how many of those you get and where they should be positioned. So if they're supplied with the blind, it's critical that you put those up to help support the weight of the blind. If we're up inside a, a bulkhead, up inside a pelmet, and you don't have the ability to actually use that bracket and slide that blind in from the front, you can call up what is known as, it's a VB 50 millimeter reveal bracket. And this is a bracket which can be top fitted and then the blind come up from underneath and click in and then we have a locking plate which comes along the bottom, slides in, locks in place and holds that Venetian in place to stop it falling down. So you can call up the VB reveal bracket if necessary. <clears throat> now we supply the end mount bracket is the standard bracket. If you need to use the spring mount bracket that we do supply on our 50 millimeter aluminium Venetian, it is a spring loaded bracket. It's a larger version of what's used on our slimline Venetians. You can call that up and use that. Our preferred is obviously our end mount bracket, but if that's not practical, you can call up this bracket. Just keep in mind that this is a more secure fixing for a heavy product. If you're going to call this bracket up, our recommendation is that, again, you would fit one of these every 800 to metre across the width of that shade. And then you have our good old soft shade extension bracket, which, believe it or not, gets used for lots of different things. And there's nothing to stop you if you need to build a blind out from using that soft shade extension bracket and bolting it to an end mount bracket for a timber venetian. Might not be the prettiest look, but then you can run the pelmet back all the way. You can ask for an extended pelmet return. That is a very strong bracket, and that'll certainly handle the weight of the timber venetian. But likewise, if you've got a wide blind and you're using, or you've been supplied centre support brackets, you should make sure you fit those in the same fashion. Hold down brackets. Timber Venetians, so Country Woods and Wood Essence products are available with hold down brackets, but they don't come as standard. So if you want them, you need to let us know when you order them. If you want to add them later, it's quite tricky. You actually have to cut the bottom rail back in width, you have to drill a hole, and you'd have to insert a pin into the bottom rail. So hold down brackets if you want them, order them at the time, or specify you want them at the time you order the blinds. So it's a pin in the bottom rail, and depending on the colour timber that you've got, you'll either get a brass coloured or a silver coloured hold down bracket. Brass comes with all the timber look alike, silver comes with all of the whites. So they're the two standard hold down brackets that come when you specify them. Pelmets, as I said, if you order a standard face fit pelmet, the pelmet's going to be the depth of the head rail and the bracket holding it out. If you want to extend that helmet return, it's just a matter of telling us by how much. So on your order form, you would write standard plus 19 millimetres. If you've measured edge of architrave to edge of architrave and you're fitting the brackets on the right on the outside edge of the timber, but you want your returns to go back to the wall and the architrave is 19 millimetres thick, you would want that return to be standard plus 19. You can also call up a rear pelmet. If you don't want to see the outside of the blind from outside, perhaps it's a room divider scenario maybe, you can call out a call up for a rear pelmet as well. Cutouts and other options that we can offer on the product as well. Left hand bottom corner, right hand bottom corner. So cutouts are certainly available on 
the Timber Venetian and the Wood Essence product. What we're going to do now is play a Timber Venetian installation video. I've actually got a blind behind me we'll put up very shortly as well. But we'll play this video first and then we'll talk through a few more things. It is important to mount the blind perfectly level. Use a spirit level to check the head rail. The installation brackets may be fitted in reveal inside the window frame or face fitted outside the window frame. In a reveal fit, attach the two installation brackets inside the window frame. Flush against each side and the top of the window frame. Align the front edges of the installation brackets. Pack down if necessary to ensure the brackets allow level mounting of the head rail. Two screws are used to attach each bracket. For the most secure installation, fasten one screw to the top and one screw to the side of the frame. Blinds over 1200mm require the additional support of a centre support bracket. Space the required support brackets as evenly as possible between the two end brackets. There should be no more than 1200mm between them. Two brackets are required for blinds over 1801mm and three brackets are required for blinds over 2200mm. Install the pelmet clips onto the head rail before installing the blind in the mounting brackets. To install the blind, slip the head rail into the end mount brackets and over the centre support brackets and snap the locking covers shut. Align the clips on the head rail to the pelmet and snap together. Loose cords pose a strangulation hazard for children and pets. To reduce the risk of strangulation, the blind must be installed in such a way that a loose cord cannot form a loop 220mm or longer at a height of less than 1600mm above floor level. Cord cleats are provided with the blind, with two cleats used to secure the cords of each blind. Attach the cord cleats provided at a height at least 1600mm above the floor level and no greater than 200mm apart to prevent children from unwinding the cord from the cleats. Once the cleats are attached, simply wrap the excess cord around them. But I am going to fit this blind behind me in our installation house with our end, with our standard end mount bracket. Now, when you fit these brackets, it's absolutely paramount that there's two screws, there's two fixings. One is not enough. It's a heavy product. And what our recommendation is, if you can, if we're in a reveal scenario here, I'm actually going to put one screw through the top of that bracket, and I'm actually going to put another one through the side. If you can do that, it's strongly recommended because it really makes it super, super stable. But let me just quickly pop this one in position. I've already installed one of the brackets. So I've got my two end mount brackets in place, open the gates, and I'm ready to put this in. Now, just before I do that, one thing I'm going to double check is that my pelmet clips are in the right spot to line up with the clip on the back of the pelmet. So when this is packed and supplied to you, this part of the pelmet clip, it's not on the head rail. They're actually just sitting here and wrapped with plastic on the back of your pelmet. So I would recommend with the pelmet the right way up, just hold it to make sure that where, I, where my pelmet clip is on the pelmet, it's gonna line up with where I'm putting my pelmet clip on the head rail. They'll normally line up with the end tape drum, but if you've fitted this blind in a reveal and they're in the wrong place, you may have to take the blind out again to reposition those brackets. So that is in the right spot. Put that on there. Put that there. I can now come along and install my 
head rail into my brackets. Now this is a really snug fit, this one, so I think Trevor might have measured it. Not sure. But tap it in, nice and snug. If I hadn't taken deduct edit any deduction off that at all, it would never fit in. But make sure you take your deduction, otherwise your installer will be out there and he will be cutting off part of that head rail to make it fit into those brackets. Lock, lock the gates just by lifting the front, making sure that that little lug is located into the bottom, nice, stable, secure. So I could then operate the product. Get my pelmet here. And I can then come along and click my pelmet on. So I'll just do, making sure I've got the So there, so there we've got our helmet clipped on. It's a really good look here. You can see that the height of this, this 90 mil high helmet, really covers the gap that's left at the top very well indeed. So there we have our 63 millimeter wood essence in color snow white. And as I said, it's critical to take our bottom deduction as well or our drop deduction. Otherwise that bottom rail won't rotate around freely and the blind won't operate correctly. Child safety, we've got cleats fitted here, which is an absolute must with a corded internal window covering, particularly with Venetians, because as I pull that blind up, guys, you can see I've got really long cords. Bottom cleat, minimum 1600 up from the ground, tie off the cords, it's the law. There's no getting away from it. You can't not fit those cleats. You have to do it. Guys, that's a wrap. This is the end of the session on our Country Woods Timber Venetians and our Wood Essence Faux Wood Venetians.